Andrea with Fitness Banjo and it is June 1st so starting off with a new month and I am out on my 30 second run 30 second walk interval and I am upping my miles a little bit so trying to run three days a week and just more miles per month so as you see I have my water set out because it is definitely heating up so come with me on my run walk I've hit the mile and a half marker and I'm actually almost back to my house to grab some water and learning to give myself some grace in my learning and training. I'm giving myself a one minute walk because I felt I needed it. So letting y'all know it's okay to walk more than you need to listen to your body and let's go get a drink. I'm on my cool down walk. Almost made it to three miles. It was a little over two and a half. I'll put the numbers up on the screen. Was hoping for three, uh, but I went out late and it's warm, but it was raining earlier and I don't have any races planned. So I don't want to get my shoes or myself wet just running but all right new miles so we'll see what Sunday brings it is now Tuesday out for another interval of 30 seconds running 30 seconds walking and my phone cut out on me so 30 seconds run 30 seconds walk of course, we're going up the hill now and take you along with me. So I'm very focused on listening to the buzz of my watch when it's time to walk and run. So yes, I just ran up a hill. And of course now I'm walking down a little hill. Oh, get the run now. But trying not to cheat, but of course if I have to walk up a little portion of the hill, I'm gonna walk up a portion of the hill. It's also later than usual for me. It's after five o'clock. So legs are a little bit more tired. Um, I didn't have to put on sunscreen, but obviously I connect sunscreen with sunglasses. I still couldn't use those. So Sunday, I wanted to run two miles, but ended up walking the two miles. One of it was for the Step It Up Walk Awareness for Down Syndrome. And then I kind of started to feel like I had pain in like plantar fasciitis. So took Monday off and I think that's kind of why I waited a little bit for today too. But on this run, not feeling too much pain. So that's good. So I'm on my cool down right now, picked up my Powerade from my porch. 
So I'm getting better at doing cool downs and warm ups before and after runs. But today was very tough. My foot felt fine, but I guess I just can't push through the wall. So I got 2.25 miles in. So tomorrow I'm just doing like a active recovery or a um, CrossFit training. So it is Thursday. Yesterday was a cross training day for me. So no, I did not run on global running day, but we're out now doing more intervals, 30 seconds running, 30 seconds walking, and just trying to slowly increase miles. It's only been mile one and my life flashed before my eyes. Look to my left, giant dog running towards me. Luckily, I saw it was leashed. Whew. I don't know what it was, but that dog's big. The only fear running in the Midwest is people's animals. They just let run free. Running is so much mental than anything else. Times on this run, I've gone from I'm doing well to I'm dying back to I'm doing well. So definitely get your second, third, and fourth wins out here, but it's definitely tough. That walk run is done and dusted. Pushed through the wall, got in three miles. It was hot, got a late start. Woke up sore, tired, just didn't want to do anything. But we did it. But tomorrow is Friday, another either rest or cross train. So put up the mileage I've done for the week and continue with next week. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me any comments what you're training right now for and see you next time.